Lubaba TV. Hello, welcome, and this is Rubaba TV. And today, I, I want to share something which might be helpful to pig farmers. If you're new here, then it's good to subscribe and hit the bell so as to be updated whenever I put new videos. But even if you're not new but you have not yet done so, then the good chance for you to do it because there are a lot of things which may pass away when you are not subscribed or hit the bell. So it's better to do that and will help you in one or another way. And today, I want to share some few tips on how to learn a successfully pig farm project. So by today's session, you'll be aware and you'll be able to know which things might help you when you want to conduct a successful pig farming project. So let's go together and learn something from today's session and hope help you reach in a certain place, you as a pig farmer. In many sessions back, I have already talked on how a person can conduct a, a successful pig farming project. I have already said a lot of ways that a person that can use easily and conduct a successful pig farming project. But today, I want to share something different. And through my research and through my reading, through internet and other sources, I found this might be helpful because it has it has covered another side which most of us in one or another way we might not be knowing it so let's get together and hope you will enjoy today's session first thing somebody who needs to start a successful pig farming he or she must do a estimated demand what do i mean saying that you should make an estimation of the type of a number of customers who might be buying your products. This will ensure that your pig unit is as successful as possible because this is particularly important if you are looking to add a value to the animal you produce by selling it direct to the public. So this is one of the important things that one should do. Do the estimation of your demand before you start keeping any kind of pig or any kind of animal. The second thing you should know is that when we start a pig farming project, you will find a large portion of your sales will be trade sales. Your trade customer will include national supermarket chain and other food retailers, but also meat processors and abatters, manufacturers, wholesalers, local retailers and cutters. This is the important thing that you, you should also know that when you start a pig project, these will be your important so by identifying them and find things concerning them will help you to be successful in the market because those are the targeted customers and when you are far with them in one or difficult in one or another way it will be difficult for you to reach them so you should be aware when you start a big project this will be the primary market that you will be need you will need to target and the third thing which you should know if you are intending to supply to large concerns contact them to get some ideas of the prices you would expect to receive along with any other relevant contract details that is very important such as feeding requirements penalties for your animal not reaching special targets and so on so if you are intending this kind of market you must be aware of all things that you mentioned above but also you might find that the joint of produce or group cooperative is the most effective way for you to save the large organization because we know large organization need a large number of products. So when you are alone, it might be difficult for you to acquire a certain kind of organization to save. So it would be better to find a cooperative or a joint venture so as you can sell it those products in large quantity that is another thing that you should know and might be helpful to you but similarly if you are intending to supply local retailers and the cutting establishment directly it's good idea to contact them to find out if they would be willing to take your products 
and also what supplying this business will acquire involve. But also, for example, let's see, for example, it's likely that you will have to pay to have animals killed and dressed by a butter before selling them meat or carcass to local establishment. Some, such as a local retailer, might, might want for you to package the produce as well. So, by knowing what they need, the condition, and what it's needed in the market when you are targeting this kind of market, then it's better to be aware of all those things that I have mentioned above. And the additional thing, if you are planning to sell a large portion of your produce to local retailers and cutting out rates, consider carrying out a survey of those businesses to find out what sector of the market you should aim for. But also talk to prospective customers to split the types of produce that is popular. For example, you may find that some cuts of meat are more commonly purchased and that added value items. So by knowing the few things as I mentioned in one or another way might be helpful for you to add value of your products but also to differentiate yourself with other pig farmers. By knowing all the things that I've mentioned concerning the market will help you being successful in the market. But together with this, keep in the mind that you should consider keeping your pigs in a quality pig manner because even if you do everything, even if you know all of these which I've mentioned, but if you don't have a quality products, then it will, continue, it will continue to be a difficult thing for you to acquire a market. And that will just make you ending up in doing non-profitable pig farming project. Hope you have learned something and you have know something which you didn't know before. And till next time, if you have something to share and you have something to say to us, then it's better to comment that down. It's better to share with friends and family to also learn from us or no different thing which you talk here in Rubaba TV. This is Lubaba TV and this is Iman Lubaba. Till next time and thank you for being with me. Lubaba TV